What's up everybody, this is Kev again from Geeking is Fun. So in this video, I'll be doing a uh, routing using a uh, Huawei's ENSP. So uh, this is the second video in my uh, Huawei uh, networking, basic networking uh, video series. All right. So in my previous video, I've already explained how to do basic networking, basic stuff. Like for example, having one router, two switch and, and four PCs. All right. So in, the, my, in my previous video, I've actually showed you that um, we can only use uh, command, right? command based um, commands to actually configure the router right so in ENSP is in, in such a way so in this video if you compare the content of this video with my previous uh, video what you'll be able to see is that I just added one more router the moment we add one more router we're basically adding another network all right which is between the routers okay so um, when you do that all right what, hap what happens is that you, uh, you need to do some routing so when we talk about routing again we have like a few types of routing that can be done we have the default routing Okay, then we have uh, static routing and we also have dynamic routing. Okay, so uh, these are the common, there may be some other kinds of routing as well, but these are the common ones. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to do static routing. So static routing is quite common, so that's the reason for me to do this in this video. Uh, in the, in, okay, do, do, do it as a video. And if there's time, I will also be doing a dynamic routing. All right, what I'll be doing is I'll be doing RIP. Okay, RIP. Routing information protocol, okay, and of course there are others like OSPF and so on, which I may cover if I have time, okay. So let's get started. So uh, what I've done is that I've already put up all the devices here, four PCs, two switches, and two routers, and I've also done the labeling, okay. The labeling are all here. So if, if you if you have watched my other networking videos, probably you have seen that I've been using all this one. I've been using like 192.168. Those kind of addresses are actually generated locally, right, by the NAT network address translation. But just for a change, I've decided to use like, uh, for example, 200.1. Actually, not much difference, right? They're all IP, IP version 4 addresses, right? But just for fun, I've used a new type of address. So let's begin by configuring the router, okay? So uh, as you can see, it shows GE. GE means gigabit uh, internet, uh, ethernet, all right? Again, all right, uh, first, the first thing you have to do is uh, system view to get into the router, all right? So you can uh, type display interface brief, all right, in case you want to have a look at what type of uh, interface does this router ha uh, provide, all right? So you can see that gigabit Ethernet is up, all right? Two gigabit Ethernet are up, okay? So let's begin by configuring, uh, let's say, uh, this, this port, all right, 001, all right? So how do we do that? We just type uh, int gigabit Ethernet without spacing 0, 0, 001, all right? So it shows okay, let's go into that port. So let's type the IP address uh, 200.1.3.3 .3 again 255.255.255.0. So this is the network mask, all right? It's supposed to show up state, all right? It means that the link, the port has been turned on, and let's do the same thing for the other, okay? So IP address 200.1.2.3 and 255.255.255.0. Again, upstate done. So this router has been configured. Let's go to the other router. All right. System system view. Okay. And then uh, interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0. Okay. So IP address um, 200.1.4.5 255 255 255 0 ok done change to port 1 and put up the IP address IP address 200.1.3.5 255 255 255 0 ok Boom, done. Okay, so the two routers have been configured. All right, so the switches again at this level we don't have to configure, all we have to configure are the uh, PCs. All right, so uh, let's give the IP addressing. So this should be 200 1 2 5. Okay, and um, of course, subnet mask is 255.255.255. Okay, and then the gateway is the ports uh, router's IP address 200. One, two, three. Okay, press apply. It goes for this one. Two hundred. One, two, three. All right, three. Okay, two five five, two five five, two five five, and then the address of this one is two hundred one. 
two seven right so before proceeding further right before proceeding uh, to configure the other side of the network all right let's just try to ping all right this pc client 2 from client 1 all right so go to command just type uh, ping 200.1.2.7 all right you should be able to get reply all right there you go you get immediate reply because it's, it's on the same network so just for fun let's try to ping this router this port all right so i'll do 200.1.2.3 you should get a reply as well. So let's close this. Let's not waste time. Configure this PC instead. Okay. So um, it should be 200, 1, 4, 7. Okay. 255, 255, 255. Okay. And then the gateway is, um, of course, 200, 1, 4, 5. Okay. Done. The next, the last PC we need to configure is this one, all right? 200, 1, 4, 9, okay? So 255, 255, 255, and the last one is this one, 200, 1, 4, 5, okay? So let's try to ping the neighbor, which is client 3. Ping, one, sorry, 2. 100.1.4.7 all right dot 7 so you get immediate reply let's break this and uh, let's try to ping the router 200.1.4.5 okay so this set configuration is done so now just for fun let's try to ping the other side it is impossible all right at this at this point it is impossible 200.1.2.7 it's a completely different network okay we are talking about this area of course, we don't get an we don't get a reply, or we get something like request time out. Okay, the reason is we have not we have not done routing. Now, how to do static routing? Okay, so let me put up a title at the top. Okay, I call it static routing. Okay, okay. Now let's try to do a. Um, let me recap a little, okay? So this is one network, this is one network, and this is one network, all right? So when you talk about routing, all right? What does it mean by routing, all right? First of all, you need to know that every router has got a has got it has got its own routing table. So what is the function of routing table? What does a routing table uh, contain? Right? What kind of information it, it it has it holds, okay? So inside the routing table, usually we have things like, um, for example, uh, the network mask, all right? the network mask all right network mask uh, which, which is a slash n we have the next uh, next hop address this one we have to put we will we, you will see how am i going to put this and then we need to have a network address this is also very important all right these two basically just need to be at this um after this i'll be showing you how to put in these two details into the router all right then we also have things like interface or a wish interface and so on so we have like essentially four details all right so we need to put uh, those details into every router for example in this router we need to put the network this network address and also the next hop the next hop address which is this and in this router we need to put this network address and the next hop address which is this so that uh, both routers know where they can go to and this network will have maximum reachability that means you can you can you can go anywhere so once you have done that you'll be able to ping for example here to here here to here anywhere right within this network all right so let's configure the routing all right uh, system view all right so okay went into it so how do you how do you uh, type the routing command so you need to type ip sorry ip root static okay put the network address we are we are configuring this router all right ar3 this router okay so network address should be this one okay so it should be a uh, 200.1.4.0 all right and then the network mass of course 255.255.255.0 and lastly the next hop all right which is this one 200.1.3.5 next hop is actually your neighbor router's ip address all right so you press enter all right there's no any message all right so i just want to check whether these details is has been entered into the routing table so to do that let's display the routing table display display ip root table all right table oops probably okay i'm sorry it's supposed to be ip routing table right not root table routing table okay 
again something is wrong. This pen, what, what? Okay, I'm very sorry. I'm trying to recall what is the uh, display IP routing table. All right, what could be the problem? Mm, I forgot the command. I'm very sorry about that. All right, so I just wanted to check. I want to check the routing table. Display IP routing table. Display IP routing table. Display IP routing table. There you go. Okay. So something was wrong at the top there. I'm not sure. All right. So we can see that uh, there you go. We have the static thing added. All right. Let me expand this a little. Okay. Oops. 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 What's happening, man? Oh my god. Sometimes this is killing. Never mind. Let me open a new one. What's happening? Okay. Again. Alright. So uh, let me expand a little. Okay. There you go. This detail has been added. Okay. It's been added. Alright. You can see that this is a static root. Okay. So let's do the same thing for the other router. Alright. So again, we go into system view. Then we add the uh, IP root command. IP root static. Static. So the network address is supposed to be 200.1.2.0, 255.255.255.0. And of course, the next swap address, which is supposed to be this, right? So 200.1.3.3. Okay, it's been added. So let me display the routing table. Display IP routing table. IP routing table. Okay, so you can see that um, this piece of information has been added. So now you will be able to ping across. Let's say from client 1, let me try to con contact client 4. Okay, now this is killing man. Okay, let me try to contact client 4. Ping 200.1.4.9. Okay, there you go, you get a reply. Alright, so uh, if you get a reply, then your routing has been done successfully. Alright, so if you try to run this command again, this time you shouldn't have any loss. Okay. Alright, there you go. And let me try to contact this router, this, this address, dot one dot four dot five. Okay. Not five, right? There you go. You get a reply. And let's say from this client, I try to contact uh, client two. Ping 200.1.2.7. I should get a reply. Okay. There you go. You get a reply. Initially, all right. You will show this kind of message, but it doesn't matter. I'm trying to ping again. This time you should have zero loss. So if you get a reply, then you don't have to worry. Everything has been configured correctly. All right. So what we have done is that we have done static routing. Right? In case you're wondering what is static routing and what we have done, basically what we have done is that um, uh, you need to put some details into each router's routing table. Uh, routing table. Right. For example, in this router, inside this routing table, you need to have you need to add the network address of the other network. All right. So this will be the network address, and of course you need, you need to add the neighbor uh, next hop address. Then next hop address is a neighbor router's IP address. So, so you do that here, you do the same thing here, and of course at this route you need to put the other network's address and also the next swap address. So that's all. I hope you uh, had fun learning something new. Alright, so if I have time, uh, like I told earlier, I'll be doing another another video on uh, dynamic routing. So signing off, Kev from Geeking is Fun, thank you.